Hymn, sung at the completion of the Concord Monument, April 19, 1836. By the rude bridge that arched the flood, the flagged April's breeze unfurled. Here once the embattled farmer stood, and fire the shot heard round the world. The foe long since in silence slept, alike the conqueror silent sleeps, and time the ruined bridge has swept down the dark stream which seaward creeps. On this green bank, by this soft stream, we set to-day a vote of stone, that memory may their deed redeem, when, like our sires, our sons are gone. Spirit, that made those heroes dare to die, or leave their children free, bid time and nature gently spare the shaft we raise to them and thee. The Rodora On being asked, whence is the flower? In May, when sea winds pierced our solitudes, I found the fresh Rodora in the woods, spreading its leafless blooms and a damp nook, to please the desert and the sluggish brook. The purple petals, fallen in the pool, made the black water with their beauty gay. Here might the redbird come, his plumes to cool, and court the flower that cheapens his ray. Rodora, if the sages ask thee why this charm is wasted on the earth and sky, tell them, dear, that if eyes were made for seeing, then beauty is its own excuse for being. Why thou wert there, O rival of the rose, I never thought to ask, I never knew. But, in my simple ignorance, suppose the self-same power that brought me there brought you. The Snowstorm Announced by all the trumpets of the sky, arrives the snow, and, driving o'er the fields, seems nowhere to alight. The whited air hides hills and woods, the river and the heaven, and veils the farmhouse at the garden's end. The sled and traveller stopped, the courier's feet delayed, all friends shut out. The housemates sit around the radiant fireplace, enclosed in a tumultuous privacy of storm. Come see the north wind's masonry, out of an unseen quarry evermore furnished with tile. The fierce artificer curves his white bastions with the projected roof round every windward stake or tree or door. Speeding, the myriad-handed, his wild work so fanciful, so savage, naught cares he for number or proportion. Mockingly, on coop or kennel he hangs parian wreaths. A swan-like form invests the hidden thorn, fills up the farmer's lane from wall to wall. Margot the farmer sighs, and, at the gate, a tapering turret overtops the work. And when his hours are numbered, and the world is all his own, retiring as he were not, leaves, when the sun appears, astonished art to mimic in slow structures, stone by stone, built in an age, the mad wind's night work, the frolic architecture of the snow. <laughs>